Welcome to this course on transition metal organometallics in catalysis and biology. We have been discussing about uh, olefin polymerization in the last few lecture and in this regard we have been uh, particularly looking at uh, the catalyst development uh, that happened uh, during the course of uh, 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 during the course of evolution of olefin uh, polymerization particularly for polyethylene and uh, polypropylene polymerization. Uh, uh, and uh, we have noted that uh, uh, this olefin polymerization started with ziegler uh, uh discovery of heterogeneous uh, TiCl4 uh, diethyl aluminum chloride uh, uh, being able to polymerize ethylene at ambient conditions, room temperature and one bar pressure uh, producing high density polyethylene. And subsequently uh, uh, the ziegler catalyst also could polymerize uh, propylene uh, to give isotactic polypropylene which is a stereoregular propylene with all the uh, uh, methyl group pointing in the same uh, uh, direction of the uh, backbone. And then uh, we have focused on evolution of the uh, catalyst as a course of, uh, of evolution of the field as well. And what we had observed that the focus shifted from heterogeneous uh, catalysis to homogeneous catalysis. Uh, the reason being though heterogeneous catalysis uh, was extremely uh, good uh, in terms of uh, exhibiting very high activity for the polymer, but uh, one major uh, drawback to the heterogeneous uh, catalysis for uh, uh, olefin polymerization was the fact that uh, uh, these are multi-site catalysis as a result uh, very broad distribution of the molecular weights of the polymer were ob uh, uh, obtained and consequently the polymers were not really well behaved uh, uh, or the property wise. There was a need uh, to make a more uh, narrow uh, or distribution uh, uh, polymer uh, for polyethylene as well as for poly a propylene. And uh, as the need uh, uh, re required uh, the shift then uh, uh, the research focus then shifted from uh, multi-site uh, catalyst to single site catalyst and that is where the homogeneous uh, catalysis uh, uh, came in uh, picture. Uh, now uh, the metallocene uh, complexes uh, of titanium and zirconium uh, 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 did a great job in terms of finding a homogeneous solution to poly a, a ethylene polymerization uh, uh, in a uh, multi uh, single site uh, catalysis uh, uh, manner. And as a result uh, with the advent of uh, MAO as well as uh, boron acidic uh, triphenyl boron reagents, uh, what we saw uh, was the evolution uh, of uh, metallocene type catalyst for uh, uh, which are homogeneous in nature and they are also single site catalysts. Uh, for producing uh, polyethylene as well as polypropylene in uh, uh, high uh, uh, activity. So, uh, this is what we had been uh, uh, discussing um, uh, about and uh, for poly A propylene the following uh, three catalysts that we had spoken in the previous uh, lecture is worth mentioning as they give propylene of different uh, 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 structures. For example, uh, the first uh, to note was this. Uh, zirconium uh, with uh, MAO oh, could give uh, this is of C 2 V symmetry gave propylene to atactic polypropylene. Atactic, atactic meant, uh, means that uh, the methyl groups are randomly uh, oriented, uh, uh, something like uh, 
or something uh, like that. Uh, then uh, the next one that uh, uh, we had uh, uh, spoken about is this uh, Bridzinger's compound. this with MAO, this is C2 symmetric that propylene to isotactic polypropylene uh, which is stereoregular And then uh, we had uh, also uh, looked into this famous zirconium catalyst. zirconium catalyst with MAO that gave propylene to syndio tactic propylene. I will draw this one uh, properly. And what does that uh, meant was so alternating uh, uh, methyl group and uh, 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 so, uh, this is a very interesting observation uh, 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 and that can give through insight into the type of polypropylene that could be obtained uh, by uh, uh, changing the symmetry uh, uh, by from going from C to V uh, so, uh, and this one the last one is C S symmetry. This one is C S symmetric. So, one can see that on going uh, changing the symmetry from uh, C to V, one gets uh, atactic, uh, from uh, C 2 symmetric, one gets isotactic, and from uh, C 2 C S symmetric, one gets symbiotactic polymer. So, uh, 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 this is a uh, finest example of how uh, uh, designing uh, of catalyst can lead to polymer uh, of very uh, high activity with very extremely narrow uh, distribution range and uh, uh, extremely uh, uh, good uh, properties that one uh, uh, sort of wants to have in the polymer. And this has all been achieved uh, using homogeneous single site uh, uh, catalysis. catalysis. So, uh, this is the uh, strength uh, of organometallic chemistry at particularly the homogeneous catalysis uh, in uh, being able to produce so many uh, uh, different types of 
uh, polypropylene uh, uh, polymers uh, 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 by on the basis of symmetry, catalyst structure and so forth. So, uh, uh, based on this, uh, we are going to uh, now focus on another uh, extremely uh, uh, nice example uh, by uh, um, Professor Weymouth in 1995 uh, by which you could uh, make uh, stereo block uh, polymers. Uh, uh, and this is a beautiful elucidation of uh, 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 rationalization, uh, chemical modification and uh, uh, its uh, uh, resultant output in terms of the polymer that uh, one could uh, uh, produce. Now, stereo block uh, 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 polypropylene means that uh, this is uh, two polymer segments of polypropylene, uh, one may be this, the other uh, in cartoon I am giving uh, of another color. So, this is a stereo block. polypropylene and uh, the idea is that uh, these two uh, are sort of uh, a combination uh, uh, combination of either of uh, uh, either uh, of uh, uh, the three. So, it can be a one block can be a let us say a isotactic other can be syndiotactic a, a or it can be atactic. Uh, uh, so, uh, a combination of two different chains uh, uh, of any of this type be, uh, uh, that would allow formation of stereo block of polypropylene. A very nice example uh, of this is uh, uh, given by Pro uh, Professor Weymouth in 1995, stereo block. stereo block polypropylene by nobility uh, uh, and, and this uh, uh, was a uh, 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 was a fine demonstration uh, of polymerization was carried out uh, uh, using uh, this uh, catalyst. And uh, this is illustrated by the equation Uh, this ligand is called 2-phenylindine or 2-page IND. This ligand complex of zirconium MAO actually resulted in two types of complex. zirconium of this in which these two phenyl moiety are in trans conformation and it would have uh, the, these uh, would react with propylene uh, would give one side a polymer chain and 
other side a vacant site and uh, there can be two possible conformations present of this which can be in mutual equilibrium and the other conformation would be this. So, what has uh, literally happened is that there is a conformational rotation that happens uh, bec between uh, these two ligands uh, along the zirconium axis such that uh, these two phenyl rings can be trans as well as uh, these two phenyl ring can be uh, uh, in the cis disposition as it is shown over here. And the corresponding the polymer chain would be as here this being the uh, vacant site. Now, these two or uh, change uh, is dependent on uh, temperature K 1 and uh, K 2. Now, what is important over here is to note that when one goes from cis to trans the symmetry of the uh, complex changes to the extent that this one remains C 2 symmetric chiral. Uh, and this one becomes a chiral and it and since there is no answer bridging a ligand between the two zirconosin uh, 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 moid uh, ligands so this free rotation is very much possible uh, going to two conformation in which uh, uh, when it is cis it is a chiral when it is trans it is chiral and and as a result Uh, uh, when the polymerization occurs uh, 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 in this uh, uh, conformation, then atactic polypropylene is obtained. Uh, so, atactic block of polypropylene is obtained and when the conformation polymerization occurs in this conformation KPI then isotactic polypropylene block is obtained. And uh, as a result the overall uh, polymer uh, which comes out of this is something like that and then the other block so uh, this is a uh, 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 so this is a tactic 
uh, block. And this uh, one over here is isotactic block. So, uh, what is uh, important over here uh, is that uh, uh, stereo block polymer containing isotactic atactic block polypropylene can be obtained. And uh, now this uh, is very interesting because uh, point to note over here is that uh, the conformational mobility uh, uh, that may exist between two forms the trans form and the cis form. Uh, that is taken uh, uh, that has been exploited or taken advantage of to produce uh, uh, polypropylene having two blocks one is isotactic and the other is atactic and uh, that is done in a controlled fashion. So, uh, by uh, raising or changing the temperature concentration one can control uh, this equilibrium uh, the rate of exchange between the cis and the trans uh, and then uh, can control the length of the stereo block as per will. Uh, and also one should uh, uh, take note of the fact that only one of the conformation is chiral uh, which is uh, giving this uh, isotactic block and the other is a chiral which is giving this uh, uh, atactic block. So, this uh, seminal uh, beautiful uh, elegant example uh, uh, that take advantage of this conformational mob mobility was uh, reported by Professor Bob Weymouth in uh, 1995 which uh, 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 took advantage of this conformational mobility for producing a stereo block uh, poly uh, 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 propylene. And uh, these, uh, uh, these two uh, 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 blocks, uh, 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 these two isomers are of uh, comparable en energy. Uh, so, uh, uh, they could uh, be varied uh, by changing the temperature pressure and uh, the R groups. Uh, and uh, property wise this isotactic uh, portion of the block uh, isotactic portion uh, responsible for are more responsible for thermoplastic uh, properties properties which is uh, more crystalline. Uh, whereas, atactic portion of the block is more rubber like uh, 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 rubber like properties and uh, 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 this. So, uh, uh, so this uh, is uh, sort of uh, the power of homogeneous single side catalysis uh, being, being able to produce uh, polymers of two different tacticity in the same polymer chain. And uh, this was uh, sort of uh, uh, recognized by the first fact that the first uh, industrial production of uh, LLDPE uh, using uh, metallocene single site homogeneous catalysis was uh, 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 reported by Exxon in uh, 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 1991. So, first uh, industrial production of LLDP linear low density using metallocene homogeneous single site catalysis uh, reported by Exxon. in 
1991. So, uh, uh, you know this is a significant uh, 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 discovery in the sense uh, that uh, we are one is more familiar uh, with heterogeneous uh, catalysis uh, being used uh, uh, for uh, of, uh, industrial scale application, but here uh, catalyst is based on uh, homogeneous catalyst uh, which is not often the case in most of the uh, situations was even uh, built uh, uh, by Exxon for producing L LLDPE. So, this is a tremendous uh, success for homogeneous catalysis. Uh, there are further mod modification for example, uh, ELF Altochem uh, in 1999. Uh, used uh, 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 metallocene catalyst anchored onto heterogeneous uh, uh, process, uh, heterogeneous, uh, 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 heterogeneous uh, surface bed for producing uh, 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 this uh, poly, uh, poly, poly for polymerizing olefin. And this is the case where homogeneous catalyst uh, has been heterogenized uh, in the for the industrial scale production. So, with this uh, uh, we come uh, to uh, an end of today's uh, discussion where we have looked uh, into a nice example uh, by Bob uh, Weymouth uh, that showed how conformational mobility uh, 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 by uh, suitable choice of ligand uh, could be exploited for producing stereo block isomers uh, on the same uh, poly polypropylene backbone chain uh, uh, one of it and uh, by varying the temperature. Uh, concentration pressure one could modulate the, modulate the chain length such that uh, uh, two stereo blocks of different tacticity can be obtained in the same polymer chain. And this takes advantage of this uh, phenomenon of uh, conformation changes from cis to trans uh, uh, that occur in the catalyst uh, uh, in which one uh, uh, gives a chiral uh, uh, environment the other becomes a chiral resulting in isotactic and atactic stereo block polymer. Uh, and this isotactic uh, uh, stereo block polymer uh, is more crystalline and raises thermoplastic properties to the polymer whereas, atactic is more rubber like. So, two different opposing properties present in the same uh, polymer uh, and this is a beautiful elucidation of the uh, uh, chemi uh, chemistry uh, that takes advantage of conformational mobility. So, uh, with this uh, I come to the conclusion of today's uh, talk we are going to look at more uh, on this catalyst development uh, aspect that we are uh, looking uh, in ziegler natta catalyst uh, in olefin polymerization starting from the ziegler natta catalysis uh, when we meet next. Till then uh, goodbye and thank you.